What's up guys, Chosno right here. So in today's video, I decided to show you how to install applications like Facebook, I don't know, Twitter, Instagram, and so on, on older devices running iOS 7.1.2, 7.0, 6.x, 5.x, and so on. So we probably know that Apple no longer lets you download them from the App Store because when you click to install, it says that it requires at least iOS 8. And I'm going to show you that. But how we fix it? Right here I have an iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.2, but some of you might have an iPhone that's running iOS 6 or iOS 5, or you might have even an iPhone 5S or an iPhone 5 that is still running 7.x. So you might run in a problem of applications. See, due to Apple, now you can no longer download and install these applications. If I want to install Instagram, for example, and I click in here, as you can see, it will try to download it, but I will immediately get this warning. This application requires iOS 8 or later. So how are you going to get applications on these devices? In today's video, I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you how we're going to install these applications on this vintage iOS. That is basically nothing right now because iOS 7.x is far, far, older than iOS 10.x, which means that most of the applications now moved on. Let's see. So it's pretty simple actually to fix this issue and there is a workaround that I found. You need to open iTunes. Everybody has iTunes installed. If you have an iPhone, you most likely have it. And then you need to navigate to account. If you're on Windows, you need to activate that, um, that thing with file, edit and so on and navigate to account and sign in. Now make sure you sign in to the same Apple ID as on your iPhone right now. All right, so I'm putting my credentials and click sign in. After you sign in, you will be able to connect to the App Store. If it says something like, this Apple ID is only valid for purchase in US or any other country, you need to simply click OK. Now you need to go here into the App Store, click here on Apps, and you will be on the App Store and search for the apps you want to download on your iPhone, but they are no longer compatible. In order to do that, I'm going to simply search for, let's say, mm, Instagram. I will quickly find Instagram and try to download it on my Mac. You don't need to download it completely, you just need to click on Get. So, I'm going to click Download, and it will start downloading in here. As I said, you do not have to download it completely. I'm gonna click pause in here and I'm going to show you that now I'm able to download it on my iPhone 4 as well. As you can see, it's the same iPhone 4 running iOS 7.1.2 for which Instagram is no longer available because it requires iOS 8, but not anymore. I'm going to go now to the App Store and make sure it's, it's signed on the same uh, account as the, um, the computer and I need to search for Instagram now. E-N-S-T-A, Insta. And I'm going to, to search for it. You can see it now shows with a little cloud, but if it doesn't, if it shows get, simply click on get. And you're going to see what happens. It's the same iPhone, but now it says the current version requires iOS 8 or later, but you can download the latest compatible version. I'm going to click download and the download will start. Let me try to show you. It will start on the desktop and I'm gonna be back when it finishes. There we go, so the download is now finished and as you can see, it's not just an app that was downloaded, it's an app that is actually working. You can see I'm able to connect to the Instagram and add my phone number or if I already have an account, I can sign in or I can sign up or do anything. So this is pretty much how you download any application that was compatible once, but it's no longer compatible due to the iOS 8 thing. So this is it guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Until the next time, I'm Joe Snow, peace out.